when you try to connect your device, hardware device like a USB drive or hard disk, and you're getting the same error of in button out, or maybe getting some sign on the disk management. So in this video, we'll try to test where is the issue. If it's something related to the connection or the device required actually maintenance. The basically the best things we need to do uncheck always the cable of your hard drive. Make sure it's working, connected to another port. Try even connecting your hard drive to another computer or that another device. See the same problem still occur to you or it's actually appear on the other drive or other PC. If you've done all these tests like, like a connection test then restart your computer or PC and see if the problem actually appear on your hard drive now it goes and your PC. If not, then we go to the next step. Make sure you check the driver updates on the hard drive. So try to update it. To update your driver, you need to go to device manager. You can go first thing to the disk driver. Your disk if appears here like my own Western Digital. You can click on update driver, search for automatically. Uh, for my case, it's already installed. Or you can do uh, through the Windows update. In case it's not appeared on this one, like my case, there's some issues with my USB device. You can right click on this and update it. You can search automatically for driver. Or you go and browse your computer for driver if you have downloaded from the company website. In my case, I'm able to install it, so I need to go ahead and go to my factory site and download that driver. As well, you can try also update the mass storage on this and update the driver. Same thing applies here. You can do it automatically or download it from the manufacturer's uh, website. Like in my case, I have a standard digital uh, drive. Then I can just download it and find exactly the software that can help me to install the driver and fix the problem. Some companies downloading the update through the, uh, the own update for drivers through the Windows update itself. So you can just check for updates and install it and restart your system and see if that helps you to fix the problem. Uh, some laptops or hard drive, uh, some companies, they have the own built-in check or diagnostic system then you can access it and check if they have any problem with that, that right. Need uh, to check the disk through running the command CMD. Go to run as administrator. Go to check, check, not the full check disk. I go to the letter of the hard disk. Mine is D. Uh, again, F, F slash F, then R, then X. The system start looking for the bad sectors or system files on the hard disk you're trying to connect uh, and try to fix it for you. Uh, we'll give you a description of each command and what it does exactly. Uh, after running this test, wait for it to finish and see if that fixed the problem of showing the hard drive and removing the error from that hard drive. The last option you try if you try everything else and didn't work. Just use only this option only if you don't have any other choice. You run the command as administrator, run as disk part, go as list of disk you have, select the hard drive you need or the have a problem with, select disk one in my case. Now here the important part here we'll do clean command. Here we clean everything, remove the partition and start as a new hard drive. We say how we can recover this data. You can download any software that recovering you know, data from your choice or I'll show you one software I'm using to recover the data. But this method is not 100% guarantee. Depends on the situation or the structure of the hard drive and how bad is it damaged. So we'll do this only the last option. This is the software I'm using right now. I'll give you the link to this uh, software in the description to download it. Uh, you start with creating the partition. Hit apply. Second step we need to make sure is on this one, you need to rebuild the MBL. Select this one.
applied process. Yes. Now the option where to recover your data. Go to the recover data. Select the partition or the drive you want to store the files. And the scanning will start for the files. Try to locate the files you have deleted or formatted. By the end of scanning, you can select the files and you can restore it back. If you try all these steps and still not able to connect your hard drive, and still have a problem with it, you can send it to the service center to check it for you. Maybe there's actually damage on your hard drive and they'll see and they try to recover as much data as you. But this video just to give you tools to check if actually the problem can be it's not serious and can be fixed at your end. Otherwise, you need to send it, as we said, to the service. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. Apply to as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Peace.